Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. Hope that you're having a great start or end to your day whenever you're watching this. And, uh, you know, as we get started, I was thinking about uh, the times where people have complimented me. Uh, and we all love getting complimented, and, and it's that nice little, ooh, cool moment. But more than that, when, when someone intentionally focuses in on a specific area of my life and compliments it, I feel this, this strange internal desire to lean in more to that activity. Maybe you're the same way. Maybe someone's complimented you on a diet or fitness plan that you were doing. Hey, you're looking great. I see you're losing weight. And it's just that, that motivation. Okay, I gotta do it. I, I gotta keep doing that. I gotta lean in a little bit more. Maybe your boss complimented your work recently and just really encouraged you in what you were doing. And, and it was that motivation that that next project or the next day coming in, you're gonna work even harder to, to keep up that standard. Uh, and maybe you think back to times of, of, you know, when you were in sports or being coached and a coach complimented your form or performance in some way, you go, man, I wanna do more of that. And spiritually, it's the same way. We see that, that when we have people speak life and truth into us and encourage us in some ways, it often fuels the fire for us to keep doing more of that. And in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24, we see that uh, actually encouraged uh, in us. So Hebrews 10, 24 says, and let us consider how to stir one another up to love and good works. Now, there's a lot of ways that we can do that, and I'm not saying that what I'll say today is the only way to do that, but I think that one way we can consider how to stir one another, the people around us, up to, to loving and honoring God with those love and good works, as it says, is by intentionally speaking truth and encouragement into their life. See, I think that when we uh, intentionally see and notice things that people are doing that are honoring God and glorifying Him, and we, we speak that to them, and we say, hey, I see what you're doing over here. I think that's really awesome. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. It's like that coach saying, hey, that was a great form on that last run, or your boss saying, hey, that, that, that job uh, was great, or that report looked awesome. It's that motivation to keep going. Because guess what? We get weary. We get weary of doing the things that we know we're supposed to do. It's why scripture says, do not grow weary in doing good. For at the due time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. So when we speak that, those words of truth and encouragement into people's life, it helps them to fight against growing weary. It also helps them to see, hey, I'm being noticed. There's, there's an impact to what I'm doing. And our, our Heavenly Father sees even more than what we're able to see. And it's that reminder that, that we need to keep going in that. So today, here's my challenge to you. My encouragement to you is to go encourage someone else. I want you to spend some time thinking today, who have you seen really live out the character and nature of Jesus in a, an intentional way and make it a point to, to compliment them on that? Make a phone call, send a text message, write a letter, an email, send a courier pigeon. I don't know. However you want to do that, find a way to say, hey, I see what you're doing. It helps, encourages me. I, I'm proud of you for it. Whatever those words are, be intentional to speak life and truth into them because I know that as you do that, it's going to help stir them up to love and good works. And you're probably going to experience the same thing in your own life as you seek out how to encourage others. You're probably going to be encouraged as well. So I hope that today you find a way to encourage and speak some life and truth into someone and help encourage them to continue on with love and good works as they follow and serve Jesus. Hope that you have a great and encouraging day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.